Good evening and welcome to the uh, Tuesday night member e-learning of Hit Run Candlesticks. Appreciate everyone being here. Uh, I know you all have uh, uh, probably better things to do. I think I think the truth is that uh, uh, some of us probably hang out in the trading room a little too much. And uh, uh, so anyway, uh, uh, again, thanks for being here. Uh, fun place to be sometimes. So thanks a lot. Okay, um, uh, tonight I, I mentioned in the room earlier that I was going to talk about uh, kind of a new scan, sort of, uh, uh, you know, something a little different. Uh, it, and it's all because of uh, uh, conversations with other people. It's how it, they come about sometimes, and that's what, what happened here. Uh, before we do that, though, I was asked uh, earlier, I've been sitting here most of the afternoon, and um, somebody came in the room and asked about uh, um, Dugley and asked if Dugley was a buy because it gapped up and kept going and so I my response back earlier uh, was I just simply typed well hey you know we'll talk about it this evening so I'd like to talk a little bit about that now I know a lot of people in the trade trading room caught a piece of this I know I personally caught uh, 39 percent uh, in, in that area, 39 point something uh, percent on it. But I was in yesterday, uh, so I was in the gap. I did not wait to the very high today. I, you know, 39 percent, I think that's that's plenty good money. Uh, there's always going to be somebody leave a little on the table, top side or bottom side. Uh, in other words, uh, simply get out too soon or get in a little too late. There's always going to be somebody that beats you one way or another. But uh, for the most part, if you caught some Dugley, great, great day, uh, absolutely fantastic day, and uh, I think it's still a buy. Now, I don't, I don't particularly think it's a buy up here. Uh, that doesn't mean that that uh, it can't open up tomorrow and you know do something like that. It certainly could. It's not going to change my view of I don't think it's a buy right now up here because that would go against every rule that I could possibly have when it comes to buying too high. Uh, it, you know, if, if, if this happens, if it moves up like this, uh, guaranteed it will give us a pullback uh, in here at some point. Uh, may, maybe, it's, maybe it's tomorrow. May, you know, may, yeah, maybe it's tomorrow. I guess I better get rid of that one. Certainly not going to be today. <laughs> uh, you know, may, maybe maybe it just runs up for a few more days maybe maybe it runs up to this area uh, before before it starts to give some little pullback point is somewhere it's going to give some little pullback if you've missed it you missed it you just have to have your rules and like I said for me that's just that would go way against anything uh, even holding it today would go against anything I would even conceive just simply because 39% put it in your pocket go away you can always buy it back uh, so before I get too carried away here um, I, I want to answer what was it a buy because it kept and kept going uh, yeah it was Th there's there's probably tons of other reasons too and I'll try to look at a few here I'm sure other traders in the room can find other reasons uh, as well they're, 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 you know, if there's one, there's two. If there's two, there's four. If there's four, there's probably six reasons and more. Uh, the first thing is, you know, there was some news on it. Uh, that didn't hurt it. I mean, that's what that's what made it rock. Uh, the news came out. Everybody saw an opportunity and just piled on. Uh, and that's what just kept driving it up. But let's take a look at the, the chart here. Peacher, Peacher wrote, uh, it gapped over the T-line. And interestingly enough, um, that is very much what the topic's going to be today, uh, tonight. And we'll, we'll get to that. Uh, but uh, interestingly enough, I really didn't notice that till you mentioned it, Peter. Thanks. Um, as I look at the chart, uh, a couple of things I want to look at is... I want to, you know, I want to step back from any kind of news or anything. In fact, I really don't even care uh, what they do. 
at this point. I just simply want to look at the chart. And uh, a couple things about a chart is <clears throat> this is what charts do. I, I say that a lot and and uh, it really is that simple. Uh, it truly, truly is. It's just what charts do. Uh, if you if you were part of this move here or even if you missed it, chances are you're going to get another chance to get in it. Now when is that chance? Is, is, is that chance uh, after a, what a month, month and a couple of weeks here maybe, a month and a week or two? Uh, so you just have to be patient until the chart starts to work. You can see how it went up, you can see how it went down very clear and then all of a sudden all of a sudden it just went sideways didn't it? That's all it's done right there. It's going sideways. And in those sideways moves there certainly is some buying opportunities. Uh, I would I, I, I would say that that was a buying opportunity. That you know I can see where we might have taken that trade. It didn't last very long but I can certainly certainly see from that uh, uh, little wannabe candle, wannabe, wannabe hammer there uh, that that might have been a trade up and uh, certainly that move could have been a trade right in there but more importantly I think it's building that bottom now yesterday I got in because one of the members here uh, commented on it they commented on it and I immediately bought it uh, because it was forming this hammer over here now what's so significant about that hammer? Well the hammer by itself is not necessarily significant but the fact that it was in that trading box and we we were coming from oh let's see here let's do it like that uh, we're we're coming from a uh, a down move so we have this doji up here we have a sell signal well, no, nah, I don't know if that's a sell signal. Just, just pull back, PBO type stuff. P, uh, PBO is a pullback opportunity, uh, if you don't know. And we have this low, we have a high, we have all of a sudden a hammer being printed, making a higher low inside this consolidation. So. To me, what I saw yesterday, I certainly did not see a gap, and I don't want anyone to ever think that I saw a gap, and nor did I see 45% today. I, you know, please, I don't want anyone to think that that's, that's what we saw or anything like that. We simply saw a chart pattern. That's it. Just a simple, simple chart pattern. Hey, Gigi, how are you? And in this chart pattern, you know, I've already talked about everything we saw here. And then we get this hammer. Well, I want to be part of this because here we are right at that 50-day simple moving average. And, man, it hops over that 50, uh, and it doesn't have to be a gap. But all of a sudden, that starts creating a, a nice, nice, nice trade. Let, let's, let's see what we have here. Let's just right there look at that that's exactly the continuation pattern that we look for a rally back a rally a one two three ABC move uh, wave one wave two wave three I don't you know there may be 13 other names for it I don't know um, but very very common move here uh, when, when this sort of thing happens and you know today you 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 know, you, you, you buy it yesterday, you turn your computer on this morning, and bada boom, bada bing, you got a gapper there. Hey, things are working great. You know, news is out on it, uh, uh, and, and that just starts driving price up. So, was it a buy today because it gapped and kept on going? Yeah. It was also, it was also a buy anywhere. Oops, that's not what I wanted. It was also by anywhere in here. Now, the the truth of it is, this is sort of a hindsight picture right here. We 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 could we could back this up a little bit. I can say we have a low, a high, we have a higher low right there. And let's uh, grab that bottom, come up. Uh, let's see. We'll we'll go right there. 
that makes it a buy right there because we're moving sideways we've established our bottom we've run to a high run to a higher low and that's just noise in there it gapped down probably would have scared you to death absolutely would have scared you to death on the gap down but notice it it still did not change these lows now then that's where your stop would be right there see how those lows held in there lows held in very nice stayed above it just more noise and chop and boom there we go today so um, that's why it was a buy uh, some bought it yesterday some may uh, have been holding it for some time and it finally paid today um, and, and like I said there you know somebody here might come up with other reasons there certainly might be other reasons there might be indicator reasons uh, I don't particularly look at indicators uh, um, when, when I'm looking at a chart I pretty much look at the chart pattern and um, candlesticks is what I'm looking at okay all right let's let's take a look at <clears throat> and I'm gonna stay on this chart right here uh, for for quite a few of these we'll certainly go look at at the regular chart this is what I would call the regular chart right here but uh, I think we're we're gonna try not to confuse anything and keep it pretty simple notice this is my naked chart and I did put the 50-day simple moving average up here because what I'm gonna talk about tonight has a lot to do with the 50-day simple moving average and the scan and I'll tell you what I'm gonna do really quick before we get too carried away uh, I'm gonna go find that scan let's see what did I call it um, there we go let's see I'm gonna see can I can I put this in the announcements will it work up there sometimes there we go sometimes when you post uh, things like in the in here the uh, Omnovia doesn't like special characters I'll put it here too uh, but sometimes Omnovia doesn't like special characters and that really um, really kind of messes uh, messes with the uh, code. Now, if you're a TC2000 user, that code works right there. If if uh, you're not a TC2000 user and you use something else, maybe somebody can convert it uh, when you see what I'm doing here with it, which is pretty simple. Uh, you'll find that most uh, PCFs um, that I use are very, very basic. Uh, they they do not get complicated at all and uh, I, I think this one is a very basic one and what I've done here is I've taken a couple of different ideas and put them together a couple of already successful ideas and put them together and you're gonna see that they're cross between the rounded bottom breakout and across between the the um, uh, trend reboot and the reason they came about is because uh, some conversations I've had with several people um, and the, the conversations have just rolled around a little bit and we've got to a point where well hey we can do this um, now um, like I say I've just I've just kind of put a, several things in here uh, that kind of makes up one and all day today I was pretty much looking at them uh, King was one of them that uh, we looked at today and talked about a bit um, and uh, here let me let me just kind of go through it a little bit um, it doesn't matter whether we're trending down and you can see the 50 pointing down right here or it really doesn't matter whether the 50 is trending up now you can certainly set the scan up to either look for trending down or trending up that would not be hard to do but I just that's the basic scan I want to see all stocks that are coming through it so I can evaluate all of them uh, you know maybe at some point you know I might have different ones but uh, for the most part um, I only see this one hanging around uh, I don't really see two different ones now if, if somebody else please have fun with it you know one little change up there in that code there could make the world of difference uh, that somebody might stumble across somebody might be staring at it right now and aha I'm gonna do this so please feel free to have fun try something different with it <clears throat> and uh, okay let, let's just take a look at it now 
a, a couple of things we need, I need to point out. I'm I'm a absolute believer in a um, stock charts. They all work in cycles, and it doesn't it doesn't matter whether you're uh, in an uptrend sideways or in a downtrend. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get these type of cycles like this. And again, it doesn't matter if the overall trend is up, it doesn't matter if the overall trend is down, and it doesn't matter if the old overall trend is sideways. We, we get these, these cycles. And these cycles, these cycles are just a series of peaks and valleys. Now, of course, they may be, not that that's a piece of art right here, but, you know, you may look at a stock chart and you may have to look really hard to see this but it's there it just may be sloppy and choppy the valleys could be longer the peaks could be longer kind of changing the way this looks but for now we're gonna draw it just like this and what we're looking for are those peaks and valleys and these would be swing trades is what they would be there's little swings now, how much the distance between here and here, every chart's going to be a little bit different. There's no, you know, I don't know if there's any magical way to figure that out. Um, I, I tend to look at uh, charts, if I can get it in a valley, you know, if it gets up 10, 15, 20 percent, hey, I'm a happy camper. I, I really am. Uh, if there's one thing I'm definitely guilty of, and that's not letting it continue to run, but that's my own choice and it's part of my entire overall plan. So you know maybe someone else's plan is to um, look for these valleys with a candlestick buy signal and confirmation and then wait for a candlestick sell signal with confirmation. Uh, and that's how you maybe enter. I probably should make confirmation on there. There we go. Maybe that's how you enter your chart and maybe that's how you exit your chart and that's a perfectly great strategy as long as it's working for you um, so you know basically what we're looking for are these these uh, peaks and valleys and we want to trade the peaks and valleys well how do you determine what is um, say a, a, a wave one wave two wave three let's just draw that on there like this so how do you determine a wave one, wave two, wave three, or A, B, C, or, or a, a low, high, higher low? How, how do you determine that first move right there? Well, that's, that's one of the keys to this whole thing right here. And way back when somebody shared a, a, a PCF with me, and it's right here in this, uh, in this scan I posted out. It's the very front part of it. Uh, up until let's see 0.12 uh, 0.12 parenthesis that's that's to the left that's what they shared with me and what that does is it takes the close today minus the close 25 days ago uh, divide that by the close 25 days ago uh, and then we're looking for a 12% rise. So in that 25-day period, I want a 12% rise. That's, that's one of the main keys to get you going here. Now, the whole idea is I'm not necessarily after this part of the trade, not for the purposes of this particular scan or this particular strategy. Of course, if you catch it down here, then yay -hoo. I mean, great. Maybe you take your money and you let it pull back for wave two. You get back in it, and now you're trading wave three. I mean, yippee ki yay! Great job. If you know, if you can catch those like that, I find that I do personally do better looking for this and then trading this, and then for the most part giving something like that giving this part away <clears throat> um, so that that's what this is this is all from this is pretty much giving this move away 
shopping here and buying for here buying that move right there so if you take a look at King we certainly have our 15% or 12% up and and now we have a pullback now I would almost bet yeah see this would have been a trade right here too see that if you, if you count back 25 days you're going to get your 20 your what is it 12% count back 25 days you're gonna get your 12% move your 12% thrust right here well the same trade is right here the exact same trade uh, there's your uh, thrust there's your pullback there's your buy you've got your 12% there's your money and now we're doing that whole process over again why do I keep doing that there we go so we have our rally thrust we have our pullback and now we're trading that move right there well okay that's all fine and dandy now let's add the other piece to this I want it 25 let's see how's that written there uh, and the close and the close 20 days ago uh, yeah, uh, the close 20 you know I may have given you the wrong one now that I look at that I'll fix that and put it back out there um, but basically what I'm wanting is is I want the close to be below the the 20 or I'm sorry below the 50 back in time and I want this thrust to start below the 50 and move up above the 50 uh, how many times have we seen a chart that has come back above the 50 and then come back for a test and then just rock on its way up and these are even charts where the 50 is in an uptrend and that's where we get that uh, trend breakdown and that reboot back over the 50 I'm just looking for a little cleaner move right here that's all I've done with this so so we, we get this move up this pullback and now we're playing that move let's look at another one I'm about worn out a king there uh, here's BLDR BLDR same type of trade and the same trade could have been made right here all I've done is incorporated the uh, 50 day simple moving average so I'm saying that go back in time a certain amount of days we want to be below the 50 day simple moving average we want this to move up a certain percent which is that 12 percent and then pull back and we're still holding that 12 percent move so we, we want this this 12 percent move to still hold here and now we're moving up you know in a lot of ways what we're doing is uh, uh, kind of a Fibonacci move maybe where it moves up and then back to I don't know, pick a number uh, I you know I, I don't know where that's gonna come back to 38 percent 50 percent somewhere in there but that's you know that's the type of thing you're doing where we rally up through a number and then come back um, kind of uh, uh, say three steps up one step back that's how trends are created right there uh, OCLR here's OCLR that looks almost man if I didn't know any better it was the same as BLDR uh, OCLR same type of chart where it rallies up pulls back and moves up it rallies up pulls back and we're looking for that next move and it all has to do with coming over that 50 day simple moving average you can change that 50 all you got to do is adjust the the AVGC 50 put the 20 if you want um, I mean there's all there there's hundreds of combinations you can come up with but let me let me let me warn you about that don't fall in the trap that I fell into years ago looking for the the scan that is going to be the scan of all scans that's going to make you millions of dollars don't don't fall into that trap because it is a trap and it will it will do nothing but ruin you uh, to start with there is no perfect scan to do that um, you still have to be a trader all PCFs and scans do is they get you in the ballpark I've got 68 I've got 68 of these and not all 68 are tradable you know you still have to 
you still have to go through the chart you still have to look for support you still have to look for buy signals you still have to do all that stuff this just gets you in the ballpark is what it does so you know please don't fall into that trap that this is some magical uh, uh, PCF or something like that um, let's see Dave so you want to close today 12 for percent uh, above the close uh, 25 days from yes yes that's exactly right so so we're we're moving up and we want the move back but we want this here to be 12 we want 12 percent in there and you know what that does it puts some institutional buying in there you know for this stock to move up in that short a period of time you me we're not gonna we're not gonna do this we're not the type of trader that that puts that kind of move on a on a on a chart where it hops over the 50-day moving average for a 12% move and then pulls back and holds that 12%. You know, we're not the type of people to do that. We're not we don't we don't have that kind of stroke. We really don't. So, this is some this is some serious something going on here. And not everything has to be a gap. The first few I looked at, there was no gaps in there. Charles, that's the part I think I goofed up. Uh, yeah. We'll worry about that later. Okay, Charles? Um, so it doesn't have to be a gap. We just want to see a strong, healthy move. That's why you still have to go through the charts and, and, uh, um, and look at the chart. I have six, like I said, I have 68 that came up based on my param. The only other parameter I have is 250,000 shares traded over 90 days. That's all. Um, and you know this is one of them here. So we 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 have this move over the 50. We start moving back. Another piece of this that I want in there is I want um, now now this is all you know right now we're doing an end of the day scan you can do this intraday and it will it will it will it will adjust based on where today's candle is so I'm asking for the candle to be less than the high three or four days ago you can you can change that to five days ago if you want there, there's a so much little adjustment you can make in this it's just it's incredible it's just somewhere you've got to say this is what I'm going to do, and this is what I'm going to trade. Let somebody else go make, you know, the other 101 adjustments, or have the 101 scans that's tweaked out a little bit different. Um, so by by saying that, by saying that I want uh, the close today below the high three days ago or four days ago, what you're asking for is a little pullback right here. That's, that's what you're asking for. You're asking for a pullback, and now I'm looking. Uh, I, I think uh, Dave or Don mentioned it there. You know, I'm, you, you can sort this where you have, um, you, you, here, see, I can sort it where you have all the big, you know, the biggest movers come up to the top. So when I sort it this way, that's what I want to look at. I'm not, I'm not interested in seeing what went down 6.69 percent I'm looking for, but some people might be some people might be looking for the serious PBO really get down deep it's still you know it's still within those parameters um, you know maybe some big movers might not be but you get down into here two three one two three percent they're probably still very much within them that 12 percent parameter uh, that might be out of out of whack a little bit uh, we'll look at it. You know, maybe somebody's looking for these charts, and now you're going to put it on a lot watch list and just wait for the turn. There's nothing wrong with that. You can do that. It's not really what I was going to show tonight. I mean, look how that one up. Look at look at where it is now. You know, uh, this chart here. Um, everybody in the room, it starts putting a buy signal on the 50. We're going to be tripping over ourselves, absolutely tripping over ourselves to get into this thing. Uh, AXU. There's one right there. Up. Look how it's pulling back. And it's putting, uh, uh, we've got three bars closing right at that 50-day simple moving average. So, you know, this this might be a way to 
to work a strategy with this exact scan right here. Uh, this this might be a perfect way to do it. But for tonight, we're going to stay with. Let's just look at the um, the charts that that start turning up because that's what we're looking for bullish uh, bullish signals in here. Uh, so if we take this OL OCLR, we've got a very nice morning star. Does this make this a reversal pattern? Absolutely. So you know this is the chart we well this is this might be a chart you want to be looking at uh, with the way it's moving up. It's doing exactly everything like it should be doing. Um, let's see here. There we go. You know up higher low up higher low up higher low up higher low. It's it's doing it. Uh, Remember how I said all all stocks work in cycles. Whoops, that's not what I wanted here. Let's try that again. There we go. Uh, everything works in cycles. There's there's your cycle. All charts work this way. There, there's no exceptions. No upset. No exceptions to that rule. And it doesn't matter. Um, it doesn't matter if the chart is in an uptrend or sideways or a downtrend. We're going to get these cycles. So that's all we're doing is we're creating a a wave. Uh, we're, we're, we're creating a, a valley that leads to a peak that pulls back to a valley. And now we're looking to trade that other run to that next peak up there. So um, uh, I, I hope that that's explanatory there. Let's, for, for the time being, let's keep the conversation strictly about the chart and not dissecting the absolute scan because uh, the way to learn from scans is just put it out there and do it. Go flip through the chart so you can see what it's doing. Um, that's the way you learn. So let's, you know, let's try to keep, keep right to the chart and not the scan. That the scan is not the important thing here. We'll get it all out there. Um, let's see, ecom. Ecom was one today that uh, I had up on the uh, the uh, for a long time. I had this up on the uh, um, camera there, and you can see how it's it's moved up. It's pulled back. Now we're putting a double bottom in. Uh, not quite a bullish engulf today. Well, yeah, maybe it is a bullish engulf today. So, knowing what we know about charts, and, and we know this, th this is where everybody should be shaking their head up and down. We know this about charts. Whether it's bullish, whether it's sideways, or whether it's down, they all make these waves like this. They all move in cycles. So, knowing that, and here we have big old gap bull kicker jumping over that 50 day simple moving average. What do we think is going to happen to this chart? What is the most likely direction that this is going to go right now? I would say the direction is up. So knowing that we want to trade within this this parameter here and this is what starts us off. This says, okay, now that's right, Mara, continuation, exactly. So up we go. All we want to do now is start shopping for uh, support levels, uh, double bottom, something that says we're finding support in here. And, you know, I went through all these and I, I drew this, you know, kind of a support line. I, you, you, you know, you you can see where it's it's down it's down you run it across whoa kind of interesting how it comes right to those levels there those levels right there we've got little tags right in this area you know that's all that's an orchestrated chart so I hope that makes sense I hope that makes a little bit of sense there motor take a look at motor um, Look how motor is is starting to move up a little bit here, and in motor, you know, and and 
all these chart patterns we've really been kind of looking at uh, you know everyone knows what a head and shoulders is and uh, uh, inverted head and shoulders well a lot of these will make that type of chart pattern um, right there oh we haven't quite finished it yet have we so that's what we're watching for we're watching for that that move like that so is this it is this move over is so we have a low a high is this that 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 right shoulder that we can put in there right there well that's what we're looking for we're looking for that continuation move up and there's that chart pattern and this this chart pattern will many times give you that view uh, show you that inverted shoulder tight move now on some of those where the chart is just uh, uh, just completely moving down and then it starts to move up like the rounded bottom breakout that may not show that that inverse head and shoulders so much uh, but charts where we've been up and we just have a a small drop and then back up they tend to show that type of chart pattern a TSEM here we are again let me you know here's here's one where there's no doubt the 50-day simple moving average is moving up. Let's let's look at it with all the moving averages there. So there's 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 the big three moving up. There's our breakdown with the 20 coming back, and now the 20 coming back up through the 50. So that's that trend reboot that we've talked about in the past. So all I've done is created a scan that gives us that that thrust. So from here up, this would have been one of the same moves. That's the same move as we have right in through here uh, so just just pointing out how you can see, you'll see that in a trend you'll see that that continuation pattern repeat itself over and over and over and over and you know that's that's all a um, that's all a uh, a flag is that's all this is is looking for for flags or um, let's turn that around. That's got to be a bad omen, uh, you know, or 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 pennants maybe, um, J hook patterns. That's all we're doing here is we're looking for uh, this this uh, right there. We're looking for this this thrust this this first move, and that's where that's where we're getting that that 12 percent and then we want the pullback I'm asking for today being lower than than uh, the high three days ago or the high four days ago uh, I mean you can stretch that out to five days ago if you want and that's what's giving us our our flag uh, our pennant our J hook pattern right here and now we're just looking for that continuation up wave three exactly wave one wave two wave three it is really really simple um, what we just you know what we what we want to do is train ourselves to look for these moves and then look for those those chart patterns right there man look at that that chart pattern right there wave wave one wave two there's wave three now let's uh, let's get rid of all of that and let's put a different color in there. I should have probably left that now in hindsight. Uh, let's do it this way. I'll get it in a minute. Uh, let's see here. Wave one, wave two, wave three. Now let's we'll do it in red now. Here's wave one, wave two wave three wave one and wave three overlap each other in a trend because you start you start counting that little move right there now other people might look at this and say well that's just one big continued move I do not disagree with that I absolutely agree with that I'm just breaking it down to uh, probably what more people are going to trade uh, if, if you if you gathered up a hundred people I would bet 
more people would trade this move here than they would this one big move uh, just because we're we're where we you know we we look for those we, we tend to look for those shorter little swing trades rather than that month-long swing that's going on here um, let's see uh, Charles you can name it whatever you want I really haven't named it anything yet and let's see the next one would be SUPN uh, here's SUPN um, look, look how I mean this is the part the portion we're trading but look where it started from up back up this is now we're over the 50 here and notice most of these because because we're, we're we've got a um, limited amount of days we're not stretched out way 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 above the 50-day simple moving average you could even write this scan so that the breakout of the 50 is within a certain distance of the 50 I mean there's there's tons of things you can do just be careful not to make it so tight that you don't have anything to look at you've got to have something to look at uh, before you can trade so again just see how this starts to move up back up back up back and this chart still has tons of room to go I mean, look at that thing boom 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 you know we're gonna look at this up in this area right here um, but that that's how things start to work we, we play that thrust and then we pull back and then up uh, let's see PN I've only got a couple more charts to take a look at here uh, PGNX that, that's another thing you know practice 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 um, uh, look at charts and look at charts and look at charts and look at charts and look at charts always be be studying the charts and looking at them what can I do or you know go back and look at this chart what could I have done to be part of this oh I don't know 11 percent move maybe uh, for that matter go back what could you have done to have been part of that 30 percent move right there you know just you know rather than go out you know tomorrow and and throw the scan up and try to try to find trades to trade tomorrow don't do that throw the scan up and go back and just look at each one of the charts that come up and and try to figure out well what could I have done different practice 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 seeing that type move right there practice becoming comfortable with okay I'm ready to buy we've got two bars making a very similar low within pennies here that that adds support and value to me so it comes up it fails and it comes back it did not break where the where the value support was and from there it rallied up so that's why I say where where in here could you have bought and collected and I you know you probably would have been out on that dark candle there where could you you know where could you have picked up 12 percent right there um, TSRO here's another one TSRO um, up pull back up pull back that chart is working where could you have gotten in maybe you could have gotten in right at the move right over the 50 maybe you know once you start practicing these then you start looking for charts all right I'm gonna take that trade right in there because I see the potential up and I know my minimum risk down here uh, e-link and this will be the last one I have uh, e-link is uh, you can see how it broke out pulled back what a great buying area right here we pull back and we start putting these bottoming signals in and I, I you know I it just occurred to me on e-link and we've talked about this before where these candles right here just make everybody nervous maybe this doji here just makes everybody nervous well it, and, and they used to make me nervous as well but what happened is I started moving from not 
only using candlesticks and candlestick signals but I started working with the trend and what is the trend doing the trend thumps all candlestick signals because what doesn't matter whether the candlestick signals bullish or bearish if it stays within that track and it and it does not break that lower track then it's still going to be a bullish move so if you have if you have sell signals uh, combination of sell signals like this accept it like okay not a problem it starts moving down and then now you start seeing bottoming signals now this is okay not a problem I'm gonna take this trade in here because I know what charts do inside a trend and candlesticks just gives us the 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 visual of what everybody else is doing that that's all they do is give us it gives us that visual and that visual here says there's some sellers all right sell away there's some buyers okay buy away as long as you stay in that track that trend will continue to work okay that's that's the last chart that was 10 charts kind of showing this a little bit uh, let me try to get some of these questions up here uh, is the scan buy signal independent of market conditions Charles all 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 trades should have you should you should consider market condition there's not a trend a, a chart out there there's not a uh, a scan out there that you just totally eliminate or include um, eliminate or include uh, the the market you always have to consider what the market is doing no no, no one scan is is uh, any more important than what the market is uh, let's see Hawk says uh, many stocks uh, do not follow the market that's right they don't price is king uh, let's see all these scans should not be looked in isolation from what the market is telling you uh, why guess that's true so if your if your if your um, market is suggesting bullish then you want to look for bullish scans if your market is suggesting bearish then you want to look for bearish scans and you know what I'm going to repeat that again uh, if the market is bullish you want to look the majority of your scans you should be looking for bullish if the market is bearish then the majority not necessarily all majority you should be looking for is bearish I think that's a much easier way to trade um, let's see uh, walk is, and I, I think overall you're right the market sets the overall trend it sets the overall market but you know um, the market can be pretty darn bearish and we can find you good trades to go long um, I, I'm not saying that's the way you should do it I'm just saying that I'm agreeing with you and I'm saying that there are still long charts out there the the, the and, you know somehow the conversation is getting to is, is it almost seems to me like does this scan override market conditions and no no scan does that you 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 have to take in what the market conditions are absolutely you know again this is not a magic pill and and sometimes I get the feeling of of you know I share something like this and it's like wow this is some magic beanstalk you know seed you plant and you get this this super beanstalk all it does is it looks for charts doing a certain thing and then you still have to trade from that you still have to be a trader you still have to know what candlestick signals are you still have to know what chart patterns are you still have to know uh, how to use support and resistance you have to know how to use stops and number one you've got to know how to take profits 
Uh, let's see here. Um, Alfred, SCOK gapped up over the 50 twice on October 20th and the 25th and uh, faked us out. Yes, it did. That happens. Let's see if I can get to it. There we go. We're getting there. Yes, it did. But the one thing about SCOK is what has it done? It really has done nothing. It is just right now in this in this 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 sideways movement. It made that the first low down here. It made that first low, and from there, it's just been trading sideways. So I'm not sure I would toss this out yet. You're right. That was a failed breakout, just like that was a failed breakout, and we could get five more failed breakouts. But it doesn't change the fact that it's just moving sideways. Is all it's doing as long as that low holds right there. We're just moving sideways on SCOK. Uh, let's see here. <clears throat> How do you get the 90-day? Uh, James, we'll do that without the recorder, OK? Uh, see, now where is this correct scan? I'll, I'll put that out after we're done recording here, about five more minutes, and I'll shut the recorder off. Um, yes, I'll get the correct scan out there. Uh, if the market is up a thousand percent and the company CEO announces they have 300 uh, million new sales and 10 minutes later the CEO, CEO uh, says they may not uh, reach expected profits, the stock will suddenly drop 40 percent. Um, but the overall, uh, as Rick says, uh, the market trend should be considered as well. Yeah, definitely the overall trend needs to be considered. Again, there's no there's no chart pattern that that supersedes uh, the overall trend. So, so, so anyway, uh, this this is what I have up here, and you know I can I can just sort this, and this is how I always sort them. I I put the the winners on top, and then just sit there and go through the charts. And if I if I look at chart and I I like it, I just simply flag it. And it goes to another watch list. And then from there, I take a closer look. But right now, I just go through and flag the charts that I like. And they might they might be charts like this. It depends where, uh, where this pullback is on support. See, I see support right in here. So I just might put that on a watch list. It's, it's not a chart you guys will ever see on a watch list. I do not put these out because uh, I don't want to. Uh, I don't want to promote um, trying to catch charts moving down. I, I think it's safer to. Whoops. I think it's safer to safer to wait for the buy signal, and then trade off that buy signal. So, although I may put stocks like this on a watch list, all I'm watching for is when a buy signal is made. So I see a chart like this, I may put it, say, on the scanner. And then if the scanner starts showing me a new day high, I will go look at it and see if it's a worthwhile candle near some some, some su support. Uh, AXU, see, that would be one I would put on a watch list. Uh, that's just ugly. Uh, here's one, FWM. See, that might be a chart. I like the wick down there. So I may put that on a watch list, um, a, a scanner watch list. And when it starts alerting me a new high, then I can go shop. Well, is that a qualified buy signal uh, on this on this chart pattern here? <clears throat> OK, let's see. And then we'll shut this down. Grails aren't holy. The scan will not find 100% good hits. Just good candidates. That's true, Don. I like that. Just good candidates. Yeah, Rick. If you uh, look at at the best changed you cha changed, uh, you're looking at uh, price activity sort by close uh, minus close 25 finds your largest potential movers. Yeah, and I I think that's the way I have it in there too. I think it is. So I tell you what, I'm gonna shut the scan the the camera down, and then we can dissect the scan to pieces if you want. Uh, we can certainly do that. So I'm going to shut this off. I want to thank everybody for being here. Um, recording will be up tomorrow. 
will definitely be up tomorrow. And that, that scan I gave you, by the way, although it's not exactly right, is it's exactly what's on this, uh, this, this right here. That's what I pulled it off of. I mean, there's 50 change PBO buy. And if I come up here and go to conditions, it's the exact same one. Uh, so let's see, 50, there we go. I mean, there it is right there. It's the exact, uh, exact same one. So it's not like it's broken. It's not like it doesn't work. Uh, it is there. So um, yeah, so that all works. Okay, I'm, I'm going to shut this down. We'll see everybody here in a couple of minutes, okay?